and hello, 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 hello. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. So it's Easter week. We're still kind. We're still in the season, and we're celebrating the resurrection. And perhaps some of us are thinking about maybe want to go to church again or experiment with it. But I don't know where to go or how to go about it. So, first of all, just to get it out of the way, you are of course welcome to the services at the Celtic Christian Church. The website below in the comments, and you can check us out. Up course or give me a call and I'm happy to chat with you. I'm also here to say that um, recently I've been doing some visiting of other churches in my community. I'm taking a class on the book of Ephesians and one of the things that Paul expresses there is that if we want to experience truly the, the width, the length, and the depth, and the heights of the love of Christ, we need to be um, hanging out with Christians who think differently than we do, right? So often in my culture here in America, we tend to self-segregate. It's relatively easy for most of us to get around unless you're dealing with buses, in which case it can be a pain in the tooth. But for a lot of people, it's very easy to kind of go, you know, bird shop, right? So I think it is okay it's just my personal opinion. It's okay to find a place where you feel safe. At the same time, it can be easy to get um, more and more uh, isolated in who we hang out with, right? That's true not just in churches, but in famously right now, American culture is deeply segregated. So we don't talk to each other. I'm very lucky to have, for example, a Christian neighbor who disagrees with me on politics, but we like to pray together and chat and feel that's such a blessing. And most of us just plain don't have that. So anyhow, um, not to talk about not about politics in particular, but there are also different liturgical styles and way of, of praying together and sometimes I'm, we're more comfortable with one way than another. I'm not saying that we have to like force ourselves into a place of misery and discomfort like oh my gosh if I have to hear that song one more time no 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 but it's that we need to be open right so let's say that um you're looking for a church and you're willing to kind of expand your options but you want to feel at home how do we go about doing this well let's ask God and the first thing I want to say to you about this is that I've had some really great experiences visiting these local churches. I want to reassure you that if your neighborhood is anything like mine, hospitality people, hospitality at these local churches has been warm and gentle, meaning I have um, felt very warmly greeted. It's always been you know, someone to welcome and give me whatever information I needed. For example, I visited a church where the um, worship service was in Spanish. I speak Spanish very badly. So the team was there to kind of help me and make sure I knew, you know, the basics of what was going on. But also very gentle, meaning I tend to be a little gregarious and chatty, obviously. So people were willing to chat with me. If I just wanted to sit quietly or if I wanted to say, oh, hi, it's really good to be here. I'm just visiting. I'm going to sit here. People picked up those signals and backed away. So you, in other words, I was never felt, I never felt swarmed. So first, um, that was, that's a good thing. So you don't need to feel nervous. I hope the communities in your area are similar to mine in that. So let's begin as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, Lord, you are risen. You are risen indeed. Hallelujah. How good it is. And we want to hang out together. To praise you and to grow more, to grow spiritually, to grow in our lives, to be able to learn, to be good resurrection people and to advance your, 
your way of living, your rule, your your old-fashioned word, kingdom here on earth, that your way of being would be expressed more fully in us. We can only do that together. Christianity is kind of a team project, right? Like there are all kinds of religions and, and faiths where we can sit quietly alone or go alone for a walk in the woods, but Christianity is definitely a team sport according to the scriptures. So we thank you for calling us to do this together. And of course, that means trouble. Whenever you have two or more together, you are there in our midst, probably witnessing us arguing or something. So we are very argumentative people, Lord. We're extremely opinionated, as evidenced by the multiple multiplicity of communities that call themselves by your name. And Lord, we ask your forgiveness for when we're coupled together. And it can be easy, it can be tempting to say, I'm just going to go for a walk in the woods on Sunday. And maybe for a time that's all right. Lord, help us to know when it's time to come to church lack of a better phrase, to come to the gathering of the people of God and maybe make some new friends or find some new perspectives, find some new ways of praying. And Lord, I'd like to thank you for all the hospitality that has been offered to me in recent months as I visit these local communities, how uniformly kind people have been. It's obvious to me that some folks have taken the assignment to watch for new people. And it's also obvious that they put thought into it, maybe gotten a little training or something. It just felt very safe to me at all times. I always felt welcomed without pressure. For this, I'm grateful and I thank you. And I pray that my friend here would also, if you belong to a community already, oh, may you be deeply blessed there. May you be deeply and richly blessed in this community as you grow together into, into the image of God, right? And more fully into the image of God, into the body of Christ, right? And all the richness that that means. If you don't yet belong to a community and you're thinking about it, may God bless your journey. I wish you all peace and hope and goodness, and we ask God's blessing on that that you would be guided and welcomed and find a place where you can love and be loved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed, dear one, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And don't worry, not all pastors are as chatty as I am. <laughs> Take care, friend. Bye.